Man, I mean, these updates, fantastic. How's it going everybody and welcome back to a Death Hunter 2 update video. Now I know I haven't uploaded in quite a long time and I apologize, alright? I guess we could all understand that, you know, we all pretty much have finals at, you know, close to the summer, so, <laughs> sorry. But, anyway, I'm not here to talk about me, I'm here to talk about the quick updates that I found online not too long ago and I just want to talk about them real quick. I'm trying to keep this video under 5 minutes, so without further ado, let's just get into it. So of course the first image I'll be talking about is, you know, the potato updates, you know, the potato graphics to the best graphics. So high detail is 65 frames per second at 1080p on a GTX 1050 Ti. And it's very interesting that it will only be hitting 65 frames per second on the highest setting on a GTX 1050 Ti. A 1050 Ti is one of, you know, it's a pretty expensive graphics card. So the fact that you need that in order to play the, like, the best out of this game, pretty interesting. I mean, I for one bought the HP Omen with the 1070, so I'm not pretty worried about, you know, losing frames. But either way, 1050 Ti? With only 65 frames per second, ooh, it's crazy. And of course, we have the the low detail, which is 200 frames per second on a GTX 1050 Ti, and also you get 30 frames per second on a 720p on a mobile Radeon with an HD 8550. Again, it's pretty standard. I mean, you won't lose much graphics, but you just you just lose a little bit of a, a detail. So I mean, you won't really see it as much, but you'll see a few things here and there missing. And of course, we got potato mode. 60 frames per second on just about anything, and honestly, I wouldn't really want to play that because it just looks like a little bit of an update on Death Frontier 3D. I mean, tch, damn, if you want to play on that, then, you know, we understand, but at least he's trying to compensate for the people who were bitching at him about, oh, I don't think my computer can handle that. No shit. You know, we're in 2018, guys. Gaming has gone to a whole new direction, and the fact that he's giving us a new game and not just recycling the same thing over and over on 3D... It's pretty much respectful, so you know what? You gotta give this man some respect, man. Give him some respect! And of course, the next thing I'm gonna talk about are these few images that I'm gonna pop out real quick. You know, we have, you know, the, the outside world. Again, he said it's not open world. I thought maybe he, it was like, you know, you only have one path to follow. But as soon as I found out, it's gonna be just like, you know, good old Death Frontier, which is there's an arrow there, an arrow here, go here to the next area. I didn't really mind. I'm like, huh. That's actually not as bad, you know. I mean, yeah, sure, it won't be like GTA 5 crazy standard, but at least I can still sort of, you know, um, explore the areas, you know. I'm not going to be stuck in just one area and be like, damn, I really want to move, but it can't, you know. So, you know what, I kind of do accept that. It's pretty cool. You know, we want to go somewhere crazier. We'll see new infected, etc., etc., etc. Again, I, just, I was just thinking, you know, when he said it's not open world, that, you know, it's just one little town. It's only like, you know, 20 square feet of it, you know. Anyway, next image, of course, is the is the character selection. You know how you're gonna make your character look, how is he or she gonna look. Pretty cool. I can see you can buy credits. <laughs> I mean, we don't want to buy credits, all right? Don't do that. <laughs> you said there won't be no pay to win. <laughs> all right. So I mean, as you can see from the screen be the screen that I'm showing you guys above, we got confirm email, change email, change password, settings, settings. So I guess that's where you kind of modify how you know you want the graphics to look. We can see our character here has some leather jacket on, you know, some nice boots, gloves, gas mask. I mean, you can kind of tell that he's bringing everything from 3D, from 3D to 2. Of course, why would you recycle all of it? You can use some of it. So at least now I know you can kind of put some new details here and there. I guess you can sh choose your, your, sh your shoes, right? Put some boots, sneakers, etc. You can see you have some gloves. I believe, those are, I believe those are gloves. So yeah, pretty cool. And I think you can see a bit of something else in that pistol. I don't know. You can see like a little bit of gold on the trigger. Maybe it's another customizable feature on the game. Who knows? But overall, fantastic. Looks great. And then these are the last things I'm going to talk about. Again, trying to keep this video very short. Um, we have concept artwork on, you know, the, the zombies that are going to appear, which is, you know, pretty fantastic. We have the first one is with the male in the middle. I believe that's a siren on the right because it reminds me of the siren. Maybe not double face or double head, but it's just a simple version of the siren. Of course, it'll yell if it sees you because, you know, why not make the game harder? And on the left, what is that woman doing? Like, what does that zombie have? Is that is that a weapon of just flesh and nerves and compound of human? I don't, I don't know. I mean, what's going on here? But I can't hate it, yo. It looks crazy. It looks creepy. Damn, if I see that thing, I'm going to shoot it to the damn brink of death. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Here comes the second image, which is basically we get the good old good stuff back. You know, we get the normal zombie. We got the burnt, which looks pretty nice, honestly. You can see, like, the burning flesh smokiness of the flesh burning under the whole freaking high temperatures we got the clothes burning off hopefully we don't see no dick 
<clears throat> and then of course a lot of detail going on you know he lost his hair obviously you know some fire so good detail and of course we got the infected it looks great it looks like he has warps on there it looks like he's just about to blow up just from poking him with a needle it looks great honestly it looks like a human body that has been rotting for years so yeah pretty nice and then of course i think these are bosses i mean look at this big fat ass yo he lost like most of his stomach his freaking quads are the size of a freaking rhino yo come on any is that a lobster hand god damn yo this thing grabs you i swear to god it's gonna chop you in half man huh. but look at his face dude holy crap bruh those are some big jaws man i'm pretty sure he can hit you with that freaking arm and then bite your freaking face off with those jaws man yo what the mouth do anyway <laughs> we're getting off track but yeah i mean it just looks incredibly crazy i mean i wonder how big it'll be that's what she said um anyway i wonder how big it'll be in terms of height and weight like is it gonna be a like a kind of a be like a titan size or you know i don't think it's gonna be that big because i mean lifting a taxi in the interior would be kind of crazy to you know kind of counter because you're stuck in such a tight place tight place so on the outside i can see it you know i probably will be running out of you but he looks too big and he probably moved kind of slowish that's what i'm thinking but overall great detail on that thing i mean wow i can see basically everything on that and of course my final last one is well this thing might as well be the husband of the siren because god damn i can at least one two three four five six seven or even more heads on that thing damn jesus christ but i mean it just looks like you have to just hit the head honestly i mean obviously it's a zombie apocalypse but these things are genetically mutated you know they're pretty rare, and I'm thinking that maybe you gotta just hit this thing on the f on the head. Honestly, I mean, you have eight heads; you cannot miss with your gun. <laughs> but the thing in his right hand looks incredibly crazy. Like it looks incredibly deadly. You know, you have like I believe the spikes on it, and you know that jagged or that sharp point. And I mean, Jesus Christ! But overall, it looks like this is definitely a boss. It looks kind of. It looks like it has some like some thick skin on the outside to maybe support the damage, or maybe. You know kind of take the damage as you're shooting it with a shotgun or a machine gun or a pistol whatever you're using to fight off the infected but i mean I, we can only see the front but i wonder if the back is going to be more or, more or less the same i guess you can see more heads in the back gonna be going some crazy crap i guess you just can't hide from it because it will know where you're going to attack it from but overall good concept if i'm thinking of maybe what it'll do which is basically that like you cannot hide from it it knows where you're going every time but then again, I mean, these guys do react on sound, so, you know, that's kind of a stupid idea. But overall, admin, great job. Love the ideas. Keep it up. And well, guys, that's all I have to say. I tried to keep this video under five minutes, but oh well. I'm working on the series, guys, and I'm working on, you know, looting uh, videos because, you know, the event is out. But I don't want to keep you guys hearing any longer, so this is Killer Sam for 3 signing off, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace. I'ma do it my way, my way.